Hello and welcome to the premium editing and learning tools for photographers. My name is Diana Kot and together with MCP Actions we help to improve your photography and editing today. It often happens when you take a picture of some nice interesting moment in a crowded place, but some person from the crowd ruins your composition. You start to think that moment is lost. But don't rush to throw away your picture. With some simple and tricky manipulations from this lesson, you will be able to fix anything. This picture was taken in a very crowded area in Moscow, where a lot of people walk and take selfies. So I think this girl on the moon and the girl behind the wheel don't fit picture and I'm going to remove them. Let's go closer to the girls on the moon. The best instrument you can think about in this task is of course clone stamp tool. It replaces one area of your picture with another. Let's for example remove this black spot. Hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and sample clean area you want to use. Then draw over the black spot. And you can see the result, we have clean area here now. Let's do the same with the girl's legs. But before we start, here are several tips how to use clone stamp tool. First of all, make sure your brush is soft, so we don't see edges of your drawing. If you should do some complicated changes, it is better to work not with the original image, but on the separate layer. For this purpose, create new layer we are going to work with and make sure that you sample not current layer, but current and below. So now when we draw, we have all changes separated from the original image. You can see the result. One layer have changes, original image is still in its place. So let's keep hiding her legs. But now I have another problem. This is the edge of the platform on which she stands. I want to mask her shoes, but I don't want to draw over great platform and mess with the edge. For this purpose, I'm going to use rectangular selection. Let's select this area. Be sure that feather of your selection is zero. And you can see that now, if I try to draw outside the selection, I have no result. If you have selection active for your image, you can draw only inside of this selection. So let's mask her shoes. If you draw big areas over the image, you can suddenly get lines between zones with different colors, because it's hard to create nice gradient with clone stamp tool. If it happens, just make opacity of clone stamp tool lower and try to smooth this edge sampling both colors Smoothing this line. Ok, now let's remove selection. Go to the menu Select Deselect or press Ctrl D for Windows or Command Z for Mac. You can see that result is quite nice and everything is ok with platform edge. Now let's look at the top part of her legs. You may think about drawing selection again to keep this blue line, which is a good idea. But before that, let's look closer to our image. Maybe we can use some part of it. You can see that at the top of the moon we have exactly the same edge, but with different angle. So let's try to use it. Select our original image. Take lesser tool for selection. We don't need to be accurate, but be sure that selection feather is something like 5 or 6. We want to have soft edges. Select the part we want to copy and press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate this part on separate layer. You can see that now we have new layer, layer 2, with selected part of the moon. To transform this part, press Ctrl T or Command T for Mac, move and rotate this part so it fits our image. If you still can't achieve good fit, press the right button on your mouse and select warp option. Now you can freely bend your selection and achieve the best fit. Unfortunately, this piece of the moon is darker than we need. To fix that, once again you can use 50% opacity for the clone stamp tool. Or when your layer is selected, go to the menu Image Adjustments Curves, pick hand tool in the left bottom part of the menu, place it over your dark area and drag it up. You can see that when I drag it up, it becomes lighter, 
and I can find the best color I need. Let's press OK. Now I want to merge layers with modification. For this purpose press Ctrl E or go to the menu layer Merge Down. Let's fix a couple of spots so everything looks natural. And you can see that outer part of the moon is ready. Now we need to fix inner part. You can see that we still have all changes separated from original image. So if I suddenly realize that I made some mistake, I can easily fix it. Inner part of the moon is white and uniform, but it still has complicated edges. So once again we have no other choice. We should select this area and work inside of it. To build this selection, we are going to use the best selection tool in Photoshop. Pen tool. If you don't know how to use it, you should stop this video and learn it, because it's very important for your good work. So let's start with building curve. If you make initial tangent too long and result is too curvy, no problem. Hold Alt or Option key and drag tangent to fix it. I'm not sure how the moon edge goes behind the girl, so I will just guess, drawing something nice and natural. Ok, my tangent goes too far, no problem, once again press Alt and you can change its direction and close the path. To create selection press button Make Selection on the top panel or press right button on your mouse and select point Make Selection. Be sure that feather of your selection is zero. Since inner part of the moon is so light and uniform, I will make my life easier and use brush tool to fill it. Take brush tool, sample color of the moon holding alt and simply draw inside selection. Let's deselect it and check the result. I see black line I don't like, so I will create selection once again and draw over the strange line. It's not so important, remember that we work with the background, no one really looks very close. Ok, now it looks better. You can see that we have part of the moon corrected. Now let's work with the background. For example, I can use part of the column to replace girl's head. And after that, we are going to work with the windows. Select original image. And with rectangular selection tool, select column you want to duplicate. Press Ctrl or Command J. And now we have our column on the separate layer. Let's drag it down. Hold Shift key if you want to drag vertically without horizontal shift. Once again we are using transformation and warp tool to shift it a little bit. Now let's take a razor tool and erase some unnecessary details we don't want. And also make corner softer, erasing edge line with soft razor brush. Ok, we still need some small corrections. So once again I take clone stamp tool to add leaves here and also replace this part of the head. Now our column looks quite natural. So currently I have three layers. Original layer, layer with the moon and layer with the column. We have column below the moon and also we have windows below column. So I'm going to create new layer for windows between column and original layer. Layer 4. Once again I take clone stamp tool and start to draw windows. Be sure to sample different parts of the glass so we don't have any strange repetition in the texture. I will speed up my work a little bit so you won't get bored, but I think you understand the principle. We just sample and draw, trying to make everything natural. And as far as we draw on the layer below column, we don't really care about this edge. After we finished with the windows, we start to draw metal box. Once again we don't have here a lot of information, so we draw with a smaller brush and small steps. We should sample different parts quite often if we don't want to see some strange repetition in the texture. If I'm not sure about some parts, 
I can just guess what is there, drawing my own elements. Since we are working with some metal box in the corner of the image, it's not so important. And you can see that after I drew two sides of the box, I've got a very sharp corner. In this case, just soft it using blur tool. Actually, I prefer to use smudge tool from the same menu box. It gives more natural result. Ok, we are done with the girl on the moon. Let's merge all three layers with modification and look at the result. You can see our original image. Everything is still in its place, all modifications are separated, and here is our result. Looks much better now. Let's repeat what we just learned, removing this girl near the wheel. First of all, let's look at some parts that is simple to remove. For example, her legs. We can just sample wooden beams and draw over her legs. Let's take clone stamp tool and make this replacement. So basically this is it, we don't have any simple parts here, but we know that she is standing in front of the part of the letter M. And we have here some part of the letter M we can use. Once again take rectangle selection tool, select part of the letter M and part of the background. Now press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate this part on a separate layer and drag it left to overlay the part with the woman. You may hold shift key to drag horizontally without vertical shift. Well, much is not perfect, so let's make opacity of this layer lower to see the layer below. I want the part of the letter M match each other. Now it looks better. Once again, let's do opacity 100%. Well, still match is not perfect. I can see edges and colors are different. So once again I will take eraser tool in a soft brush mode and delete sharp edges and parts that don't match. You can see the result, still not so accurate. So once again I'll take clone stamp tool and draw over some strange spots and transition. Ok, now it looks better. We have big part of the letter M on its place. We know that it should be vertical, so we can draw even more. I will take rectangular selection tool and select the area of letter M. Now we can safely draw here our letter. You can see that I drew quite a big part, but be careful, don't draw over the wheel. It's important thing. Now I'm ready to draw complete letter. I will take my favorite selection tool, pen tool, and with the pen tool I will draw the area of the letter M. If you put dot in the wrong place, it's very easy to fix. Hold Ctrl or Command key, and while you hold it, you can drag your dot in a new place. So I'm drawing missing part of the letter M. Be very careful with the wheel here. Make selection as usual and fill it with the white color. Actually, I'm not sure if brush tool is good here, so I use clone stamp tool. Of course, brush is easier to work with and you can choose whatever you want. Just be sure that everything looks natural. You can see letter M looks quite good. Couple of spots we still have here, the woman head and area between M and wooden beams. Let's work with this triangle. Once again, it's very easy to select it using pen tool. Let's make selection and look for some part of the image that fits this area. I think these green leaves and fence 
will look good. Let's sample it and draw with clone stamp inside the triangle. We still have here the part of the image which is behind letter M. So once again, instead of creating selection, let's create new layer between original image and layer with letter M. And I will simply copy a part of the fence and draw here over this girl. Once again, I will speed up my drawing. I will also modify the column a little bit because it's not so important part of the image. And as for the head, I will need to create selection here, so I won't draw over the wheel. And here I will sample part of the green leaves and fence. Looks okay. Let's now merge all our modifications and look at the result. You can see it before and after. Looks much better. Now our attention is not distracted by anything. In the same way, we can remove this girl in red pants and basically anything on our picture. Advertisement, cars, birds, basically anything. Thank you for your attention. I hope you found this lesson helpful for you. My name is Diana Kot, this is MCP Actions and we hope to see you in the next lessons.